Hello everyone, welcome to this short presentation on F5 Distributed Cloud Malicious User Detection and Mitigation Techniques. The Malicious User Detection and Mitigation feature complements the web application and API security controls on F5 Distributed Cloud WAP by focusing on the detection and mitigation of specific actors as opposed to discrete web or API requests. First, let's see how we can identify malicious users. While we usually think of users as being identified by their IPs, the distributed cloud platform allows user identification to be customized. Some other options available being HTTP header names or AS numbers. Malicious activity events that can be associated with a specific user are WAF security events, failed logins, and L7 policies denies. There are two ways to configure detection of malicious user activity. The first one, simpler and more appropriate for cases when no customization of the detection mechanism is needed, or when there is a small number of load balancers that need to be configured, is the single load balancer machine learning configuration. When there's a need to customize the detection mechanism, or when there's a large number of load balancers that need to be configured, we can use the second configuration pattern, the multi-load balancer ML configuration. There are also two ways to configure mitigation for malicious user activity. First, manually blocking the user from the malicious user dashboard. The second would be automatic mitigation by configuring a policy to apply particular mitigation techniques for each class of malicious users. Here we need to note the system is automatically assigning users to one of the three threat levels or classes high, medium, and low. The mitigation techniques available to be assigned to each class are JavaScript and CAPTCHA challenges or blocking action. For the first demo of this presentation, I will show a scenario where I will use a single load balancer machine learning configuration with manual mitigation, while for the second demo, I will be using a multi-load balancer ML configuration with automatic mitigation. I already have configured the well-known hipster shop application protected by the F5 distributed cloud WAP, and I'm continuously running a script that is generating cross-site scripting attacks. While the F5 distributed cloud WAP successfully blocks all these attacks, you can see the security logs here, I'd like to block this persistent threat from accessing my application completely. The simplest way to do that is to go to the load balancer's advanced security configuration and enable the single load balancer machine learning configuration. I will then check my malicious user's dashboard, and once my client IP has been identified as malicious, I will manually add it to a block list for a configurable amount of time. We can check the WAF security event logs, don't show any other cross-site scripting requests reaching the WAF anymore. Assuming I'd like to have more control over some of the settings that impact the detection process, I will proceed to the second demo of this presentation and set up the multi-load balancer ML configuration. I will also demonstrate the automatic mitigation technique. First, I will remove my client IP from the blocking list.
I will then define an app type in the shared configuration namespace, and I will add the user behavior analysis AIML feature. I will then go to my namespace and configure an app settings object that I will link to the app type I've just created. Here I will customize the user behavior analysis settings by, for example, changing the cooling off period or the time it takes for a user fret level to drop from one fret level to another in the absence of further malicious activity. I will go to the application load balancer and add an app type tag referencing the app type I've just created and then enable the multi load balancer ML configuration. This completes the multi-load balancer detection configuration, and I could still use the same manual mitigation technique as in my first demo, but I will change the scenario a bit and enable automatic mitigation. I will attach a challenge policy to this load balancer and configure the malicious user mitigation settings. I will add rules to block the medium and high fret level users. The effect is similar. The client generating the cross-site scripting attack is now being blocked from accessing the application before even reaching the F5 distributed cloud WAF. One thing to mention here is the decoupling between the WAF action and the malicious user mitigation policy. Even if the WAF is currently in monitoring mode, therefore allowing all requests, persistent threats would still be detected and blocked, which is a very important advantage of the malicious user detection and mitigation feature. This being said, we have reached the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.